Thank you so much, the Atkinson Foundation. This is truly amazing. Um, it's wonderful to um, have the 15 and Fairness campaign and what it really embodies uh, celebrated. Um, I think it's safe to say that the Atkinson Foundation has been one of our strongest supporters since the days of Charles, um, way back, oh, I think we're getting a bit old now, Charles, um, <laughs> about 15 years ago. Um, and it's bit made the world of difference to the work that we've been able to do um, because the foundation has been very supportive of um, our grassroots approach, of the organizing on the ground, of um, trusted us to know that we knew what we were doing um, and has just uh, just made such a world of difference to the, the work that we do. And it's so incredible to have the foundation be part of our strong foundation in our organizing. And so I wanted to spend, just, just say thank you to the past uh, board and the past staff of the Atkinson Foundation, but also to the current staff and the board, because without your support, um, we really couldn't do the work that we're doing. So a big round of applause to, to the foundation. Amazing. Um, so I, I want to also say that the campaign for me is very inspiring, not just because I'm slightly biased, of course, um, but the campaign is inspiring because we've had a chance to work with so many of you in this room. And there's so many people that are not here on the stage uh, because we weren't allowed to bring them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because of the numbers, um, uh, but uh, just joking. Um, but I think, you know, uh, there's so many, uh, we've been working with so many faith leaders and healthcare workers and community organizers and all of our sisters and brothers in the union movement and economists and academics. And I mean, you name it, we've been working with them. I see Sarah here from the Toronto Star, who's been an incredible Woo! ally. Yes, and has helped make us visible the sort of issues that we've been um, all struggling with for so many years. Um, I also want to do, you know, a bit of a shout out to Kevin Flynn, who's in the house. Because, um, of course, you know, I can't miss this opportunity, right? Um, because I would be, it would not be, you know, I, I, have, to, I have to do this, you know. Um, so there's like, you know... 10 days before the bill, and so we can still make that bill stronger, right? Yes, Kevin, you can, we will give you an award if you, uh... <laughs> Anyways, it's been so amazing to see the leadership of, of MPP Kevin Flynn, who has been part of this initiative that will bring a 32% increase to 1.7 million workers in this province, which is like really amazing. So thank you so much for your leadership. But we still want to, you know, strengthen the bill. Um, and so um, I think uh, just in finishing, um, because I'm only given three minutes, um, I do, I do want to just sort of say, you know, this, this movement would not have been possible without the thousands of workers that have come forward about the conditions that they face every day. And so many people in our province are invisible. So many people in, this, in our province go to work, they take care of their families, and they get ignored. And they deal with violations of their rights, they deal with poverty wages, and they deal with crappy working conditions. And that has really fueled our inspiration and our work at, at the Workers' Action Center and with the Fight for 15, whether it's organizing on college and university campuses, working in health centers, hospitals, um, working with all of our union uh, partners at the airport and in many different workplaces, and, and, and with all the allies that we've had. And, and at the end of the day, if people were not courageous to say, this has happened to me, I am, I am going to make damn sure that it's not going to happen to, to the next person in my workplace um, under this current legislation, and I'm going to make a change, and I'm going to organize, and even though I'm having a hard time paying my bills, I am not going to abandon this, and I am going to do what I can do to, to make a difference. And so the folks behind me are just a few of the incredible leaders and organizers that I have 
have the privilege of working with every single day of all the workers that come into the center, who phone our hotline, who come to our meetings, and after doing a, a crappy 12-hour shift, still have the energy to go stand on a street corner on a Saturday afternoon and talk to people they don't know about why things need to be different in, this communi in our communities. And I think that this award really reflects their incredible organizing and all of their just, you know, amazing courage to actually stand up and say, I have the right to be accounted for. I have the, you need to see me and you need to ensure that I am just as deserving as you to have a decent job. I am just as deserving as you to have a decent wage. I should be able to look after my family just like you. And so that is what this movement is about. This movement is about ensuring that we do not leave anyone behind, that we bring everybody up, and that we make sure that our movement is as strong as it possibly can be. So please join with me in, in, in you know, giving thanks to these fantastic organizers. Yeah.